Hey, well, it's that time again. If you're interested to know what's happened in the residential real estate market for the month of August in Edmonton and Shore Park, well, this video is for you. Quick note, I changed my format a little bit from last month. I hope you like it. Let's dive in. I'm Jen McFilmy, real estate associate realtor with the Egg Pro Realty. Welcome to my Edmonton and Sherwood Park residential real estate update for September 2019. But really, it's period ending August 31st, 2019. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro, this month's report is going to be a little bit different than the previous months. Essentially, I'm not going to verbally tell you what the stats are but I will display them here on the screen while I give you some excellent market insights and my humble opinion of the real estate market. So if you find it hard to see the stats while I'm talking, don't worry, I provided links in my blog for you to download the full reports. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this one's for all you Jaegers out there and future Jaegers. First up is the residential real estate market in Edmonton. I will be advising on two segments, the single family detached homes and the condos. That's not different from before. Okay, so for single family detached homes in Edmonton, we are on the tipping scale between a buyer's market and a balanced market according to the absorption rate or your chance of selling. However, if you look at it from a month of inventory perspective, we have five months of inventory, which is already considered a balanced market. Can you believe I just said five months? That's way better than the seven to eight months of inventory we were hearing last year. Okay, so if you're a buyer and your price range is between 300,000 and 500,000, you're definitely gonna feel like it's a balanced market. This is our most competitive price range with over 50% of the single family detached homes selling between this price range. So as I see it, we have basically stabilized. Since April, our numbers really haven't changed that much, which is great other than in May when we had a peak, but that's typical. On an even more positive note, we're trending better than the numbers in August 2018. Also, there's strong indicators that fall won't be too bad either. Now, I guess that's really from a seller's perspective. From a buyer's perspective, what that means is that you're probably not gonna find as many good deals this fall as you found last fall. But sellers, a word of caution, you still have to price your homes competitively. We're just barely in a balanced market and we're heading into the fall winter seasons where things typically are slower. So how much of a deal can a buyer get? Single family detached homes are selling on average for about 97% of list price. Okay, that's enough about single family detached homes. Let's head into condos. So this is for all you downtown dwellers and alike. Fortunately, or fortunately, unfortunately for sellers, fortunately for buyers, no matter which way you look at it, we're still in a buyer's market. According to the absorption rate, your chance of selling, it's actually a pretty strong buyer's market. But the months of inventory are indicating that we're on the tipping scale between a buyer's market and a balanced market. Personally, condos in Edmonton are still not where I'd like them to be from a seller's perspective. However, if you're a buyer with a little bit higher budget, now is a great time to find a deal. Most condo sales are happening under the $300,000 range. 83% of homes that sold were under 300,000 and 47% of those were under 200,000. So how much of a deal can a buyer get in the condo market in Edmonton? On average, condos are selling for 95% of list price. Okay, enough about Edmonton, let's move to the park. So this is for all you parkers or parkatonians. Single family detached homes in Shura Park. I have to say, it's a great time for sellers. When did that happen, right? It was quick, but the last two months we've been pretty much in this same boat. So when you look at the absorption rate, it looks like we're just on the tipping point to a seller's market still in a balanced market, but according to the months of inventory, we are under three months of months of inventory, which means that we're in a seller's market. So in this market, sellers are seeing their homes sell in about a month and a half. That's really not too bad at all. What I really like about the Sherb Park numbers is that they're pretty balanced since April. Makes it pretty easy for us to work in because we're not expecting any huge uh, gains or drops. 
Okay, so you're a buyer, your budget is under 400,000 and you're looking for a single family detached home in Sherwood Park. Well, I have to say you will be needing to move faster as many homes in this segment, this price range are moving much faster than the average. So can buyers still get a deal in this market? I would say there's not much of a deal to be had unless maybe the higher, you have a higher price point but definitely under 400,000 would be tough. Single family detached homes in Shore Park are selling for an average of 98% of list price. Okay, last but definitely not least, condos in Shore Park. So if you watched the video last month, I thought maybe July was an anomaly, but unfortunately things haven't picked up since last month for the number of condos sold that is. So according to absorption rate, you're still in a buyer's market uh, for the condo market in Shore Park, but when we look at months of inventory, you're arguably in a balanced market at uh, 6.5 months of inventory. Even though sales haven't improved last month, strangely enough, the benchmark price has gone up. Unfortunately, I don't really know what's affecting it. Maybe it's the strong uh, market for the single family detached homes. If you're selling a condo, on average, it's going to take about two months in Sherwood Park. Okay, buyers. Well, you're more likely actually to get a deal on condos in Edmonton. As Sherwood Park condos are selling for an average of 98% of list price, which is pretty strong. So I noticed something kind of interesting when I was looking at the numbers. There was a townhouse condo that sold for 104% of the list price. Now you're thinking they probably priced it competitively and was on the market for maybe a day or two to get that kind of return. Nope, I checked. 270 days on the market before it went above list. That's so crazy. Anyway, that's all I have for this month. So go ahead and comment below. Tell me if you like this new format better than the old one or should I stick to the old one? And for all you stack junkies, as I said earlier, don't forget the download links are on the blog. Download the full reports. Hope you find this information valuable and if you have any questions at all or want to know more about what's happening in your community just reach out to me i'm always available to help thanks for watching and i'll see you next month bye